Hello, welcome in. This is Cleo Ra and this is going to be a Loot Lounge reading for whoever resonates with it. This is collective, so take what lifts up your soul, take what makes you feel good and ignore everything else because we are constantly creating our reality and we are in a constant hypnotic state of being. So I do like to remind my viewers that you are the best guide you could ever have. You have your own internal guidance system and it's good for us to remember that because even us tarot readers find tarot very hypnotic. So discernment is very key here but let's uh, dive in okay and let's get uplifted because i feel like there's something really good coming out here spirit was telling me you've been blessed with the spirit of pricelessness so there's something that's gone down here with an elevation with you tuning your consciousness shifting gears somehow yeah we've got clean it up coming out so you've cleaned something up that's put you onto a frequency that now you can manifest in really beautiful ways. We've got number three here, 21, adding up to that Empress energy, taking responsibility, doing the work. I can see the orphan card right here. So there could have been a situation that made you feel a little bit rock bottom. You know, it could have triggered some abandonment wounds. There could have been this feeling of isolation that I feel like has maybe triggered this triggered this energy yeah i'm getting a build up energy we've got chaos and conflict here number 33 so these are energies of something having to change i'm getting like a tower moment here that had to happen so you could go ahead and be the best version of yourself you can be we've got the loyal heart and no place like home so there's nothing like a bit of that priceless energy to get the universe really responding to your unique frequency and that's what i'm getting here Something up here had to shift, and I am getting a 333 energy right here. So this was a divinely guided change, something that didn't necessarily feel good while you were going through it. But I'm getting that this hallway of the mind has really made you see yourself differently and really helped you clear up any rubble. We've got the squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, and that's the thing with pricelessness. You have to know you're priceless. You have to know you are God's highest creation, or that you really do have the value where you can be, do, and have anything you want. Now is a lucky time. Once we get in that driver's seat, and once we know we can create anything we want, the universe has to start showing us things. Acorns could be really, really relevant here. There could be something you're starting that started out as such a tiny little seed of inspiration, and now it's like you're riding a giant acorn, or this is something that's coming up for you. They're saying those tiny little flashes of inspiration, those are the nuggets, those are the seeds that we wanna be planting. We've got flamingo spirit embracing the in-between, and I feel like you know you could be moving from these energies into these gorgeous energies, only accepting the best. I'm hearing nothing but the best. Rabbit spirit is calling out to me with number 13 being that death energy, four and nine, adding up to that energy. And I'm getting that this time you're bouncing, this time you're hopping through it. You've learned so much in previous cycles, maybe in past situations where you maybe felt let down or like you had to rely on yourself. And this is the universe spinning us around, bringing us the energies we've conjured up for some reason or another, the universe has to deliver us what we're on the frequency of. So this is a huge clean up energy. Yeah, look at that five of swords. Having that energy of putting your foot down. I'm not having it. No more arguments, no more chaos, whatever this means for you. This could be internal chaos that maybe comes in in the form of other people. And then we can see it, right? When other people reflect something back to us, we can see it. Maybe we start thinking, you know what? If my boundaries had been a little bit higher, I could have avoided this. Hindsight's 2020. And I feel like you're really using your hindsight in the most beautiful way to clean up this mess and to, you know, really take responsibility. Prevention, I'm getting. Really looking back through the timeline and thinking, okay, I can see where that decision took me to this spot. Boundaries. I'm going to be so loving to myself, I'm going to be so kind to myself, that I know this can never happen again. And not only that, but like I say, your stocks have gone up, page of wands. This is you moving through a portal of inspiration because you've thought the right thoughts, made the right moves. 
and follow the right energies here. And I feel like you are going to be skipping into the next phase. This is getting really colourful and really beautiful. We've got red, yellow and purple could be very significant. That's the crown chakra, the solar plexus and the root chakra. So there's a lovely balance with that energy, I feel, where your confidence is taking off. And I do feel like it's as a result of maybe something you had to skip out of, something that collapsed, something that wasn't ideal for you. But helped you think, you know what, this is a good recalibration. This is something I needed. And rock bottom is the best place to build from always. Five of cups up here, no surprises there. But I feel like you really learned to move on quickly. Because they're telling me number three again. Three, 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 you're following the symbols, you're following the signs, you're in alignment. You know what you want. You know you've got the skills to make any leap that you want. Full card energy, there's a big breakthrough here. There's nothing like a big old tower. There's nothing like feeling orphaned or abandoned to make you more courageous, to make you think, you know what? I've got nothing to lose here. And bang, a new frame of mind is born. That's what I feel like. I feel like a new lens of consciousness was developed within you. They're showing me your brain, your mind, your head turning into a big light bulb. And this is actually really cute because I just see so much inspiration building up in you. Now they're showing me the light bulb popping and breaking. And now you've got a new light bulb. Funnily enough, they're showing me a purple light bulb. So that could really mean something to somebody. King of Wands energy here. Taking the spiritual throne, allowing yourself to shine. And I feel like you found a tough energy. I feel like you found this side of you with this Leo energy. That now you're comfortable. Comfortable relying on self, perhaps. Comfortable being in charge of your own life. Comfortable looking back and seeing that these decisions you made before will be changed in the future because maybe you were enthusiastic here with the page of wands maybe there was an energy of happy go lucky putting your best foot forward seeing the best in people after the result of making decisions that i don't feel like you're going to make again not from this king of wands position of authority not now you feel this pricelessness you know it's all very well us saying i'm worthy I'm loved, but we have to be able to feel those energies to really get the ball moving in terms of our manifestations. And that's what I'm getting now, that now you feel the truth of who you are. This isn't just a logical understanding of your value. This is you really feeling that heart space moving and sinking into that new energy of absolute pricelessness now i'm not saying you didn't think a lot of yourself before but this is something different this is beyond knowing you're beautiful this is beyond knowing you're loved this is knowing that anything you point at you can have because you've got the love in your heart this is something else there's that nine of cups conflict and chaos and change leading to a realignment of the heart space and this energy of Knowing that if you want happiness in life, if you want to feel good, if you want to feel satisfied, you have to know you deserve it. And you also have to know the universe is listening. And maybe something in this whole scenario has made you really realize that actually the universe is listening to you. And actually the universe will pop, put things on your pathway so beautifully because the universe is here as your fairy. Godmother, the universe wants to obey your commands. And there's something here about you really sinking into this truth and really absorbing it and really knowing this is real. This law of attraction stuff, it's real. My mind is the aerial. You can tell the universe anything you want and then follow the signals to get it. And I'm seeing stepping stones. So there's some big manifestation coming towards you. We've got the two of cups here with the nine of cups. So this could be a really beautiful connection coming in for you. Could be friendship, could be lovers, could be more. It all depends on what you value and what would bring you the ultimate satisfaction. A relationship that for you personally will bring you ultimate satisfaction, smugness even with the Nine of Cups, a pride even with the Nine of Cups, beaming, beaming with a beautiful energy. That's what's coming in for you here. High Priestess Energy, again, you're lining up with these divine psychic gifts. You're following the subtle energies here. They're pulling me to the white feather. She's turned her back on the darkness. She's turned her back on things that are going to bring her pain, including her own behavior, right? Her own allowance of certain things in herself and in others. And now this is tunage. Number two again here. So you could be really intuiting 
your sacred partner or this beautiful connection, whatever it is to you, however you'd label it, you are intuiting this. And I feel like you know that you've moved through the chaos of this because this energy is so good and so powerful. We've got the Knight of Swords coming in on this loyal heart. The future belongs to the ones bold enough to follow their dreams. That's what they're telling me with this. So King of Cups energy with the Two of Swords, Knight of Swords. This is that energy, pure devotion, happiness, loyal heart. King of Cups coming out here to confirm someone does have a beautiful cup for you. It's full of devotion. This goes from the crown to the root. This person's going to love you on every chakra level. And I don't think you're going to know exactly when this is coming in. Because with this Two of Swords here and the World card, I feel like you're bubbled in your own world. And then bam, something comes in when you least expect it and rocks your world. I'm getting, you are going to have your world rocked here, especially with this one stood on one leg, right? This is, uh, this could topple you over. So they're saying, be prepared. This is a very intense love. And they're telling me for two very intense people. So I feel like you're both very lucky manifestors. There's something about the squirrel and the rabbit. Finding all the loot in the forest. They're giving me lucky rabbit's foot here. So that could mean something to somebody. We've got the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. You know, it's always those things we love the most that we worry about the most, okay? Four of Cups energy. You could have been feeling rejected from a scenario. You could have been in your head about something. But that cup over here is turning from red to gold. And all of your worries are going to be quenched for whoever is watching this video and resonating with this. You will know if you're on the frequency for this huge, beautiful energy to come in. Despite confusion, there's going to be this beautiful illumination on this connection. This person's going to message you. I'm getting you're not going towards them. They are going to come towards you. Nine of Pentacles here. And this is that energy again of you being in your own beautiful world. King of Swords energy. Lots of thinking for you. Lots of thinking. We've got the devil right here. I feel like there's a lot of head energy for you in this reading. I feel like you've been in your head a lot with this Ten of Swords. Maybe feeling unloved because we've got an upside down rose right here. And I feel like maybe you've been hiding yourself. Maybe you've been recovering from these energies that we see in these cards up here. But you know what? I'm getting this energy of your head's going to clear up. You're going to get more grounded now. I feel like spirit is really saying, give yourself a rest from this headspace because you are so stable, so loved, and your world's opening up in a massive way with this to the sea card. This is something that's going to bring you so much. I'm getting energy. You're going to have more energy soon because I feel like maybe if you've been down in the dumps, your energy was a little bit zapped. And now it's time for the universe to bring you these nine pentacles and this headspace here, we've got six of swords energy. So that's what I like to see. Oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. From all of these energies of you being in your head, thoughts bashing you, it kind of feels like that here. You find this relaxation. You find a smoothness, a velveteen frame of mind. And it takes you upwards in elevation. It gives you this victory, this clarity, pinpointing the heart of the matter so you are smoothing out your mind space and you're gonna find a resolution to any energy that's been repeating in your mind i'm getting there's been a repeating kind of pattern in your mind thoughts thoughts mental energy you could have significant libra gemini or aquarius in your chart but all of, all of these thoughts are going to get lined up into this sharp intuitive perfection and this is definitely something loving coming in. This is actually so beautiful. We've got adventure and innovation. And that's what I'm saying about these energies I'm picking up on. About your manifestational power. Now you've realized your pricelessness. And they're saying for whoever this resonates with, you will have noticed there's been a distinct shift in your personality when it comes to spirituality. I don't know why they just put the word personality in my mouth when I meant to say spirituality but they do what they want to do. I'm a human aerial. So you're going to notice changes in your mood, in your mindset, in who you feel like you are as a person. You're in between 
different energies now, different versions of yourself. And this is about being adaptable. This is about moving quickly. Foxes are so agile. And they think, and they think, and they think, and they watch, right? Foxes are very studious animals. But I feel like for you now, the challenge is to let your hawk spirit fly. And to let your spirit be your guide when those thoughts are maybe poking you, stabbing you. It kind of feels like that here with all these messy ten swords. These aren't lined up. These aren't organized. These are random thoughts coming in at random angles that you are going to find your control over. You're going to find your equilibrium. And you're going to let this hawk spirit guide you. 32 energy. Number five, change again. You've learned all you can learn in the previous phase and now it's time for some epic adventure yet a new direction here this is you following the compass of your spirit and letting that spiritual energy guide you you could have just been to a, a retreat i'm getting meditation you could have just gone to a reiki session or something like that and now you've had this exciting new information about the direction you want to go in yeah we've got long term here two rings on the card so I feel like there's something in the bag for you when it comes to this romance and I also feel like it's going to take you through new doorways and on new beautiful adventures yeah look at this we've got wealth here so you are moving towards not only a wealth of love with a king of cups and again this is an energy this could be a female energy or a male energy but it shows me the height of devotion someone who couldn't possibly think more of you if they tried that's the king of cups energy in this reading so right now your imagination is your best friend bringing that energy in through your focus through that heart space knowing that whatever you send out to the universe the universe is listening we've got a change in the wind now with the all that glitters there's that change a change in persona a change in how you view yourself getting to know yourself better a new layer of the onion this is going to make you feel like a whole new person. And Spirit saying, don't feel obligated to be the same person you were before. Just because maybe there are people in your life who expect you to still be that same person. It happens so often. But I feel like I'm speaking to someone very ambitious. I'm, I'm hearing that you're very broad-minded. Your mind travels very far. They're giving me ninth house energies for this. Sagittarius energies. You could love the idea of long-distance travel. Or maybe your mind is just very explorative but i am getting a very spiritual communion that will take you on such beautiful adventures and you're going to be moving forward new shoes to walk in the road with there's the shadow of your former self the side of you that maybe didn't feel your pricelessness the side of you that maybe didn't feel that exalted energy of wow i really know that the universe responds to me now. I really know that I am a magician within the cosmic arena. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this compass. And you're going to feel this tunage. It's almost like you're going from whatever that is, north, north, west or whatever. And bing, you're just so tuned to who you are now. It's absolutely gorgeous. Show me innovation. What does my darling viewer need to know? about innovation eight of pentacles so changing something in your work getting things lined up with the soul's purpose is going to bring you that abundance because when we're tuned to the higher self when we're uplifted when we feel good when we're in the energy of love that's when the universe really starts feeling the fuel and really starts flowing new things back onto our timeline after we've sent out a request so i feel entrepreneur i feel like someone's really taking off in their own business and going on an adventure after they get a new offer here with the Page of Pentacles. I'm hearing teammate, teammate. So I feel like this love offer that's coming in for you, not only are they going to be, I'm hearing best friend, your best friend. I'm hearing teammate as well. There could be a lot of traveling you're doing. I do feel this humanitarian energy here with this ninth house energy that I feel is really beautiful. We've got direction here and we've got the three of cups. So you're in party mode. This is holiday mode. This is loot lounge. Three full cups of beautiful fruit coming in. I feel like there's going to be so much love and celebration that it's going to make you realize you're exactly where you need to be. 
Um, it can only get better. It's so beautiful to create from this platform of energy and know that this is all real, that the universe is our canvas, our buffet, and that we can have whatever we want. I see you celebrating yourself. I see you celebrating with others. Happy times. This is really beautiful. Happy times. We've got the five of pentacles here. Again, that orphaned energy. But with this long-term thing, this is temporary, this five of pentacles. It could have felt like you had to adapt to something that felt kind of harsh. We've got cold stone floors here. But she is, I'm getting with this card, she is inside the temple and she's offering something. So normally with the five of pentacles, you'd be outside. They're telling me she's inside the church here. So interesting that they're telling me she's inside the church and she has an offering in her hand. She's not begging for anything. She may be alone, but she's not lonely. And she's lined up those coins beautifully. She's got a beautiful robe on. She's composed. She's composed in her own temple. So you've changed a feeling of being orphaned into being the one who is strong in any circumstance and still having strength to offer, even in a position where you maybe feel like you don't have all of the support you need yourself. You've become a super powerhouse of support, so much so that you can offer other support, even when perhaps you're getting less than them. That's funny, but that's how this is coming through. And this could most definitely be something you've been offering to a divine partner energetically or physically or psychically. You know, you could have been sending them energetic support, even though you feel shut out. But you'll know how this resonates with you. This is a long-term security situation that's going to make you know that you're in a totally different energy here. There we go. There's the truth with the Ace of Swords and these Empress energies. So now you know who you truly are. They're saying take the steps to make this really, really, really real. You know, it's one thing us having access to the Empress energy, but physicalizing it in reality is something not many people on this earth plane can do and you can do it. You've got the magic elixir here. You found something, seen something that lets you know you are a manifestational genius and you can have whatever you want. And because you create with the heart, everything you create benefits others. That's the power of the empress. So there's no such thing as a selfish empress. Everything she does, when she wins for herself, when she wins for her family, the whole world gets to win with them because it's cause and effect, the butterfly effect. Six of Swords energy here, moving smoothly into your loot, your vortex, that frequency where everything you want is magnetized into you. We've got Six of Cups energy here, confirming a soulmate energy. Smooth again with the sixes coming out on the table. This is all about your harmony, wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups energy on the table. What did I say? I'm seeing nine hearts in my mind's eye. Nine hearts. And we do have the three, the six, and the nine. Manifestational power moving on to that timeline that suits you the best. Beautiful. Let's have a look at this offer with this page of pentacles. King of Wands energy once more. We did have that King of Wands coming out up here as well. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo or Sag or just someone who's very determined that they see your value because the king of wands is normally ahead of the game. He's the first king in all of the court cards. So it seems to me like this person wants to get to you first. All right. They want to get to you first, especially, you know, with your value here as an empress. We've got the hanged man energy coming out. Something about you seeing a big change in your work, taking the leap, going for it knowing who you are and what you want to create. I feel like someone's going to be taking massive steps with that beginner mind. Yeah, owl energy. You see clearly now. You see clearly who you are now. Trust in the magic. So with the two and ones coming out on the bottom of the deck, this is about you making those wealthy plans, imagining everything you want into being and knowing the universe is here literally to provide you with everything you want. Let me know in the comments what this is because you've had information that lets you know that you're a powerhouse manifester. There we go as well with the relationships. Wow. We've got relationships, wealth and flashback. 
So I feel like this Six of Cups energy is someone you've had many lives with and you're going to be getting deja vu together. You could be getting deja vu already, whether you've met this person or not, because we do have high precess energy out on the table. So this is very psychic. We've got flexibility here and looking. So someone could be seeing that you've maybe shifted up your energy, that you're in empress mode and that they're finding you very, very attractive. That Knight of Wands did want to be seen. So someone really wants to move towards you. It's definitely going to be them approaching you. It's not going to be you approaching them at all because the Empress sits back in her beautiful garden and she attracts in energy. I'm getting, I don't chase men, men chase me. That's the energy I'm getting with the Empress. Okay. Beautiful. We keep getting these. We've got the Bumblebee Royal Jelly. I'm hearing seek and you will believe. Believe in the magic. Seek and you will believe. It's only the ones who are ballsy enough to actually test the universe out that end up realizing how magic it is and you're one of them. It's beautiful. This is you, they're telling me. Beautiful, cocooned and blossoming, graceful and majestic. There's a clock here and the musical note. So it's only a matter of time before this offer comes in. This person's thinking about the right way to approach you, to serenade you and to treat you beautifully. They could be thinking about taking you to a beautiful restaurant. I'm seeing piano being played in a restaurant. So there's something gorgeous coming in. I feel like you're moving into the upper echelons of your mind. And finally, you know, getting to that spot where you're like, this is easy. Empress, High Priestess, this is easy. Life is as easy or as hard as we make it. We've got this restful, beautiful kitty curled up. And you could have had some ancient information coming in here. Because that's what this charm is. It's given you some relaxation. It's allowed you to know who you are on a divine level, on a spiritual level. And this is the wealth of the universe. There's something you've learned that's given you everything you need to go forward in what I feel like will be a big and powerful entrepreneurial way. Win, win, when you win from the heart, the whole world wins. So I really hope this has helped somebody and whirlwind did just come out. I feel like you're creating a whirlwind, a big change. Absolutely gorgeous. I hope this reading's helped. Lots of love, my darling. Mwah.